Hey guys, I'm Carolina Sanchez. Welcome to The Break. And everyone, everyone is talking about coronavirus, but what the hell is it? I know you have many questions, so let's break it down. So what is it? Well, coronaviruses are part of a large common virus family. It includes things like the common colds or more severe ones like MERS and SARS. They're common in people and many different species of animals. The coronavirus that's making headlines everywhere is actually COVID-19. It's a new strain that has never been identified in humans before. So how did it start? Well, the CDC thinks that it likely came from an animal source. That's because many of the patients at the epicenter of this outbreak in Wuhan, China, were at a large seafood and live animal market. But now it's spreading from person to person and outside of China to several countries, including here in the US. So how do you get COVID-19? Well, as I said earlier, it's from person to person, but it's between people who are in close contact. And we're talking within six feet and it's through respiratory droplets. So we're talking <coughs> coughing and sneezing because those droplets can land on people's mouths and noses and into their lungs, into their systems. And there, you've passed the virus. Here's one of the scary things though. You could have it and not know it because symptoms can appear two to 14 days after exposure. What are those symptoms? Fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Sounds a lot like the flu or the common cold, right? And reported illnesses have ranged from mild symptoms to severe illnesses, and some have led to death. So now you're asking how deadly is COVID-19? And the honest answer is we don't really know yet. The numbers do seem scary though, because there's been more than 90,000 cases around the world and more than 3,000 deaths worldwide, including more than 10 here in the US. But here's the thing, the mortality rate is going down in China where this all started. So there is hope. And here in the US, Congress is taking serious action to prevent a pandemic. So is there a cure or treatment? Honestly, no, there's no cure or a vaccine to prevent it. So the only thing we can do to protect ourselves is avoid exposure. And now you're asking, how do you prevent exposure? And how do you prepare yourself if someone in your area is carrying the virus? Well, it's basic hygiene, folks, so listen up. Avoid contact with people who have the virus. That sounds basic, but I need to say it. Also, avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. You think you don't do it, but we do it all the time. Cover your sneeze and cough with the tissue and then throw the tissue away. Don't just set it down on your desk or your couch because then you're infecting that. And if you don't have tissue, that. And actually, if you're sick, stay at home. Unless you have some of the symptoms that I described earlier. In that case, call your physician and they'll tell you what to do next. And be clean, guys. Clean, heavily used areas that people touch all the time. And guys, wash your hands, wash them often. And not this little five seconds, ooh, I gotta get out of here thing. I'm talking 20 hard seconds of you just going at it. I want you going under your nails, over your hands. Ooh! And not just with water, guys. Obviously, use the soap. Now, if you don't have water and soap, you can use hand sanitizer, but make sure it's at least 60% alcohol. Otherwise, you're really not doing and now I know what you're asking. Should you go stand in line for a face mask? No, the CDC says that's actually for people who are sick and those who are taking care of those who are sick. It's not for those who aren't infected. So now knowing all of this information, should you be worried? Well, honestly, the people who are in Hubei province are the ones who are at highest risk. And then obviously the people who came into contact with those who were infected. Here in the US, the immediate health risk is relatively low, but I'm not telling you not to be prepared. Something to know is that older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions are actually more vulnerable to get severely ill from this virus. But this virus does not discriminate. It affects all ages, races, and genders. So be prepared, try to prevent it as much as possible, and practice good hygiene. Not just now, always.